Amir, it's good to have you. Welcome to Morning Live. Thank you very much, Leanne. Uh, morning to you and uh, greetings to the viewers. Um, Premier, you, you highlighted that you're renovating 30 schools that were affected by disaster, with another 28 being planned to commence this, this financial year. Um, what development plans do you have in place and when will they be in motion? Well, certainly, Leanne, we are addressing the fundamentals within our education system. Infrastructure is one of the critical elements. We are already on the go uh, in the coming financial year. The, I referred to 30 schools. Those schools already have been completed. We are taking new schools uh, that uh, the bill program is going to uh, consist of. Uh, we're working uh, in terms of uh, the next uh, financial year from April onwards. Uh, the next set of schools are up for construction. Uh, we're also going on the renewal of our the, the, our clean our uh, hostels for some of our schools are the ones we are going to be renovating so that we can uh, enhance the ability of learners uh, to be at school. All right, um, job creation. Every province has the same issue. What are your plans? We are, uh, Lien, a province that is endowed with a huge agricultural potential. We have targeted agriculture uh, as an element uh, of job creation in the province, particularly uh, building on the agri-parks, uh, agro-processing initiatives uh, are going to be receiving a lot of attention uh, given the endowments of the province. We also are a province uh, that is uh, really uh, endowed with a beautiful coastline. The tourism potential here is uh, very great. We will be investing in infrastructure uh, to tap on that potential. Uh, our road infrastructure program is going to be opening up uh, access to a number of very beautiful facilities uh, that uh, uh, will help us uh, boost the tourism potential of the province. Yeah. We're also strengthening uh, the strength of the province currently in the manufacturing, uh, particularly if one looks at uh, the automotive sector, uh, the various supplier industries, uh, we are working on enhancing uh, the logistics uh, so as to improve and attract more companies uh, to come and invest and reside in our uh, industrial development zones. So it's a mix of uh, initiatives uh, that we're looking uh, to enhance. Um, another issue is, uh, is, is, is service delivery, of course. That is something that the, the, that the province is, is, is needing to desperately address. How are you doing that? Well, the capacity uh, of uh, the provincial infrastructure to deliver, uh, uh, we're we enhancing that in terms of employing skilled personnel, but also emphasis on the project management abilities uh, we are focused in the ability, in the capacity of government to be able to uh, discharge uh, their functions. The coordination between the municipalities, uh, provincial departments, as well as national government departments. Uh, we're strengthening that so that we maximize impact. Uh, there's a lot of work uh, that uh, the three spheres of government are doing in the province uh, to impact in changing conditions uh, for our people in the province. All right, Premier, um, there's so much more I want to ask you, and there is, as usual, absolutely no more time. But I, I, just, I, I just have to thank you again for being with us. I know we hosted an entire TNA with you, so we've got a great indication of what's in your mind. But uh, thank you so much for talking to us. We wish you the best of luck in the year ahead. Thank you. Thank you very much, Leanne. Thanks, Premier. Thanks for taking the time. That was the uh, Premier of the Eastern Cape. He was joining us there in the PE studios, Pumulo Masule. Thank you very much again.